We have seen incredible progress in LLMs and specifically for uh, reasoning purposes. Uh, so the one series now from DeepSeek and there was one paper that I found fascinating, which is uh, from Apple that indicates that LLMs cannot really reason that well. So what happens when you look specifically at mathematical reasoning? Uh, that's where this paper steps in shining a spotlight on some unexpected gaps. They focus on GSM 8K, which is a classic data set of grade school math questions that's frequently used to measure math intelligence in LLMs. And many LLMs boast impressive accuracy here. The big question is, are these reported high scores really telling us that LLMs are great at math? Or is something else at play? And this is where the GSM symbolic comes in. This is a new template-based way of creating math questions that are variations of the original GSM 8K problems. And by varying numbers, names, and complexity of each question, the authors find that large language models can stumble. And this suggests that many LLMs are less about reasoning and more about pattern matching. So here are some key ideas of the paper. First one is revisiting the GSM 8K, which has thousands of uh, math problems and uh, many LLM scores here are a major bragging point. But it's also become so popular that we might accidentally be teaching to the test. Some examples in GSM 8K might be leaking into training data, and this can artificially boost accuracy. And here we have the GSM symbolic. So to address this potential overfitting, they build this uh, data set that uses symbolic templates. So they rewrite the questions with placeholders for numbers and names. They vary the difficulty. They can easily add or remove clauses or change numeric values to create simpler or more complicated versions of the same problem. And then we remove overfitting cues because every instance is fresh with new numbers, memorizing the original answers doesn't necessarily help. And this results in a more reliable way to see how consistently a model can solve arithmetic tasks. Then we also have this GSM no op, so the authors can also add a twist. Sometimes a question includes irrelevant statements, so noise. That shouldn't matter mathematically. They label these statements no op, so no operational value. And humans know how to ignore them, like, you know, five of these kiwis were smaller than average, uh, if all we need is a total count. But as we'll see, the LMs tend to uh, somehow piece every part of the text, whether it's helpful or not. And when it comes to the main findings, the first one is actually performance variation. So when you change the names in a math problem, so think Sophie instead of Tina, some LMs fluctuate in accuracy more than you'd expect. Changing the numerical values has an even bigger impact. Models that ace the original data set sometimes drop by a noticeable margin. Then we have fragility with extra clauses. So adding extra steps or clauses to problems, like after 25 minutes, the price changes again, makes them more realistic, but also trips up LMs. Accuracy doesn't just drop a little, it often plummets, suggesting the model's chain of thought may be fragile. And then we have the GSM, no operational value surprises. If you say it picked five smaller kiwis, uh, even if it shouldn't affect the total, many LLMs subtract those five kiwis from the final answer anyway. And then we also have this focus on newer models. So the paper highlights that GPT-40 is significantly better than earlier open models, like older Llama variant. But even GPT-40 suffers from some accuracy swings where the question is tweaked. And then as well, the O1 Mini, O1 Preview, um, these are some of the newest uh, models. And the uh, authors point out that O1 Mini tends to have a strong uh, average accuracy, but still experiences noticeable drops when faced with no operational values uh, statements. O1 Preview, does better than most, however, it isn't immune as well. So if you look at it here, um, what we're seeing is that both the O1 Mini, the one preview, they have this massive accuracy drop. Just so you see, the 
best one is the Owen preview that has an accuracy drop of 17.5%. It's really, really significant. And then when you have like the smaller models, so small mini, then it's really, really big, like more than 50% uh, drop. So in short, the latest generation of LLMs are undeniably better, but the GSM symbolic framework variety reveals that they still rely on pattern matching shortcuts rather than bulletproof reasoning. So let me actually give you here an example. Uh, we have a Kiwi, um, and then this image, we see the example from the GSM, no operational value. Question is, Oliver picks uh, 44 Kiwis on Friday, 58 on Saturday, and double Friday's numbers on Sunday, but five of them were smaller than average. How many Kiwis does Oliver have in total? And then we have the answer from the Owen Mini. Uh, by the way, the answer here should be 90, but we get 185 from both the Owen Mini and the Lama uh, 3. So what we have is that both uh, responses subtract the smaller Kiwis as if those five vanished from the total. Um, the question never said to exclude them. The smaller fruit is still a fruit. So the correct answer should be, you know, 190. The five smaller ones here, um, you know, is noise that should be uh, ignored. And this is just an example that really drives home the point of including. And then, I mean, of course, if you want to give it a try, there's some examples to illustrate the points. Um, so for instance, there are two apples drawn by three more, how many in total? If you change it to, there are 98 apples drawn by 99 more, how many in total? Um, we might expect an LM to do the same operation addition, uh, but the paper shows that for some LLMs, tweaking those numbers changes success rates noticeably. Um, you can also try here um, with adding uh, clauses. Okay, let me actually continue here with the scripts. Um, the call costs 0 0.6 per minute. After 10 minutes, it's 0 0.5 per minute. How much for 60 minutes? And then we actually have like a harder question. Um, the call starts at 0 0.6 per minute. Then after 10 minutes, 0 0.5. After 25, it's 0 0.3 plus a discount if the total is over $10. And many LMs have trouble stepping through multiple price changes, even though the actual math is still just addition and multiplication. Then, of course, you'd have the no uh, operational values uh, type of examples. Um, Annie bakes 12 cookies. Four cookies have pink frosting with rainbow sprinkles, but these taste exactly the same. How many cookies in total? Um, some LLMs might incorrectly do 12 minus 4 equals to 8. And the bottom line is like, why does this matter? So what the paper is doing is that they are encouraging stronger benchmarks, not just for bragging rights, but to push us toward building LMs that actually reason. If the model picks up tokens that look relevant but never learns to ignore distractions, it's not truly reasoning. And this can be crucial if we ever rely on LLMs for any scenario with complicated or messy instructions like finance, law, uh, medical advice. When it comes to the future directions here, um, so their big conclusion is that LLMs, including well-known ones or the newer ones, still show vulnerabilities when tested on new variations or added noise. Uh, so top-tier accuracy on GSM 8K does not necessarily imply robust math uh, reasoning. And where do we go from here? We need better training data. So we might need more thorough training sets that include many distractors. So the model learns to ignore them. Uh, we'd have the model architecture. The linear algebraic structure of transformers might need more specialized reasoning modules. And then we would have the evaluation. Uh, we should test models on variable instances of the same question, not just one fixed set of problems. When it comes to the final, Takeaways, so the GSM 8K alone can be deceptive uh, if the data have leaked into the model's training. The symbolic reveals high variance in accuracy when you change small details. And the GSM no-op reveals that LMs can't always figure out when a clause is relevant. Finally, um, we would have that even the O1 preview and GPT-40, uh, which are among the better performers, still fall for distraction traps. That is it. So bottom line is that the model it's kind of like reminding us that scoring high on a small fixed data set doesn't mean that you've solved the bigger problem of mathematical reasoning. I think it's a fun one. Let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.